This is the most sensual, romantic moment of my entire life. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 romantic moments ruined by other characters. The thing is... What? What is the thing? Don't even think about it, go away immediately. For this list, we'll be looking at times when an awkward interruption ruined an otherwise passionate encounter. What third wheel's moment killer upset you the most? Let us know in the comments. If you like what you're hearing, be sure to check out the full song at the link below. Number 10. Bernard's Proposal Attempt. The Rescuers Down Under. Miss Bianca, would you... Would you... Would, would you excuse me for a minute? Popping the big question is nerve-wracking enough, but being constantly interrupted makes things ten times worse. Bernard is in love with Miss Bianca and needed the perfect moment to give her an engagement ring. On their way to find McLeach's lair, Bernard finally gets Bianca alone while waiting for Jake to return. You know, now that we're alone, there's... There's something that I've, I've been wanting to, um, well, to, to ask you. Just before Bernard asks for her hand in marriage, Jake shoots out of the water, pushes Bernard away, and tames a giant snake. Miss Bianca, I, I would be most honored if... if Fire! Making matters worse, Jake and Bianca then ride together on the snake's head, leaving poor Bernard alone on its back. It's all right, Bernard. Jake has everything under control. Number 9. Tallahassee's Terrible Timing. Zombieland. First tattoo. Porpoise. Really? Fake. Oh. First kiss. Scotty Lee. Who knew it was still possible to find romance in a zombie apocalypse? While at Bill Murray's house, Columbus and Wichita were able to find some wine and sneak away for some alone time. Are you jealous of Scotty Lynch? Uh, yes, I am. As they learn more about each other, Wichita asks Columbus to dance, causing them to inch closer together. I don't even know your name, but this was actually really nice. After Wichita admits her affection for Columbus, she goes in for a kiss. Unfortunately, Tallahassee interrupts the intimate moment with an important request. He needs help building a pillow fort. Hey, a little help moving the couch? <sighs> Making a fort. Sadly, the spark quickly disappears and Wichita leaves without kissing Columbus. Darn you, pillow forts. Number 8. Aladdin's Unfortunate Capture Aladdin When Princess Jasmine is accused of stealing fruit from an angry vendor, Aladdin uses his persuasive personality to get her out of trouble. Do you know what the penalty is for stealing? No! No, please! Oh, thank you, kind sir. I'm so glad you found her. After retreating to safety, Jasmine expresses she's unhappy with the arranged marriage set up by her father. You're not free to make your own choices. Sometimes you feel so... You're just... Trapped. trapped. Aladdin and his monkey Abu are successful in cheering her up, however. When the two strangers lean in for a kiss, the palace guards capture Aladdin on orders from Jafar. Tell him that's very sweet. Here you are! Jasmine tries to free Aladdin from the guards, but it's to no avail. Luckily, Aladdin gets another, more private moment with Jasmine on a magic carpet ride. Let me share this whole new world with you. Number 7. An Invisible Viewer, Avengers Infinity War 
Drax may serve as the muscle for the Guardians of the Galaxy, but he also provides plenty of comic relief, intentional or otherwise. Where is Gamora? Yeah, I'll do you one better. Who's Gamora? I'll do you one better. Why is Gamora? After Peter and Gamora kiss to express their love for one another, it quickly comes to an abrupt end upon hearing the crunch from a bag of Zarg nuts. Oh, dude, how long have you been standing there? An hour. Turns out Drax was creepily watching the couple from afar for an hour. When asked why, Drax explains that he can stand still long enough to turn invisible. Clearly not the case. His invisibility claim is all but crushed when Mantis arrives and calls his name. I'm sure I'm invisible. Hi, Drax. <clears throat> Number 6. Carl's Bedroom Interruption – Billy Madison When he's sent back to school to prove he's competent enough to run his father's company, Billy Madison falls for his third grade teacher, Veronica Vaughan. I'll be going to class to teach. How about you? I'll be going to learn. Despite his immature antics, the 27-year-old heir to the family hotel business eventually wins Veronica's attention. Turns out they share a mutual attraction for one another. This is where I've been uh, spending most of my time lately. Not exactly roughing it, are you? When Billy invites Miss Vaughan to his room, Veronica thinks they're alone and goes in for a kiss. Much to Billy's dismay, though, Carl, Madison Hotel's loyal operations manager, interrupts the private encounter to share some news. How are you guys doing? Hey, Carl! Good to see you! By the end of the film, Billy gets the girl, and Carl receives control of the company. Safe to say, both parties came out winners. Number 5. Time's Up the mask. Let's rock this joint! Stanley Ipkiss initially thinks he needs to be the mask to win the heart of Tina Carlisle, a singer at the Coco Bongo nightclub. <laughs> However, he soon realizes that Tina is attracted to Stanley's good heart and caring personality, not so much his green faced alter ego. Tina even visits Stanley in prison to thank him for his compassion and let him know about her true feelings. But as Tina goes in to share a kiss with Stanley, the guard loudly interrupts, telling her time is up. Okay, lady, time's up. Could, could I have just one more minute? It's really too bad, as this kiss would likely have been... Spoken! Number 4. Time to Sleep, Harvey – The Dark Knight It makes you think about things you couldn't stand losing. About who you want to spend the rest of your life with. It's a pretty big commitment. Well, not if the mob has their way. We all know Batman has the ability to foil the plots of criminals, but he's not above spoiling a moment of romance, especially when it involves the woman he loves. After publicly endorsing Harvey Dent at a fancy fundraiser, Bruce Wayne learns that the Joker has coordinated deadly attacks against city officials. To protect Dent from the unhinged madman, Bruce must hide Gotham's DA at all costs. Just tell me it's not Wayne, the guy's a complete. Just as Harvey asks Rachel for his hand in marriage, Bruce subdues him and hastily tosses him in a closet, in which he barricades shut. What are you doing? Talk about an engagement gift. Number 3. C-3PO ruins the moment. Star Wars Episode 5, The Empire Strikes Back. They're getting closer. Oh yeah? Watch this. <laughs> Watch what? Han Solo and Princess Leia play a romantic game of cat and mouse in the first two installments of the Star Wars franchise. Their will they or won't they act eventually culminates aboard the Millennium Falcon. After the hyperdrive malfunctions, the ship hides in an asteroid field as Han, Leia and co work to fix the ship. Hey, your worship, I'm only trying to help. When Han helps Leia with repairs, the duo begin to playfully bicker. 
When it eventually turns romantic, they inch closer together until they finally kiss. Unfortunately, the long-awaited embrace is quickly interrupted by C-3PO. Sir, I've isolated the reverse power flux coupling. Thank you. Thank you very much. When will droids learn to knock? Number two, the future calls. Back to the future. We're sending you back to the future. All Marty McFly wanted to do was spend time with his girlfriend, Jennifer Parker, amidst making his parents fall in love and ensuring the survival of his siblings, Marty pines to spend time with Jennifer at the lake. How about a ride, mister? Jennifer? Oh, you a sight for sore eyes. After returning to 1985, Marty finally reunites with his love, and the two share a much-anticipated romantic kiss. Seconds later, Doc Brown bursts onto the scene in the DeLorean, ordering Marty and Jennifer to come with him. Everything is great. It turns out they are needed in the future to save their children. We guess the lake will just have to wait. Where we're going, we don't need roads. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one. I'm just a girl, interrupted. Notting Hill. Right, right, yeah. Perfect timing, as ever. William Thacker, a bookstore owner, and Anna Scott, a movie star, may come from different worlds, but there was no denying their genuine connection. More than a year after their initial meeting, Anna finally visits William's bookstore to confess her love. As soon as she begins to pour her heart out, Anna's passionate monologue is interrupted by both a customer and a phone call from William's mother. Excuse me, uh, it's your mother on the phone. Uh, will you tell her I'll bring her back? It's enough to leave an emotional Anna on the verge of tears. I'm also just a girl. Standing in front of a boy. Asking him to love her. Although William eventually focuses in and reciprocates her feelings, it would have saved a lot of anxiety had there been no pesky interruptions. But I remember to the day I die. Do you agree with our picks? Let us know in the comments. And hey, if you're a fan of the song playing right now, be sure to check out the music video for it right here. Then I let you run 